Okay, so now that we've finished all of the touch-ups, we are going to move on to some edge highlighting. And we're going to start with the big one, which will be the green. So I'm going to do a mix here of Warpstone Glow and Moot Green. So we've got that base of Warpstone Glow. So having some of that in there will really help. Transition between those colours. So I'm going to put quite a lot down here on my palette because we've got a lot of edges to do. Okay, so now that all the green's done, we are going to look at highlighting the black. So we're going to start with quite a dark highlight of Skaven Bloke Dinge, and then we'll do a sharper highlight of Dawnstone. And after that, I'm going to assess how bright it's looking because I may just want to tone it down a bit. And to do that, I will just wash some black over the top very thinly, uh, the Vallejo model color black, just to kind of darken down those highlights. I'm going to start on the pouch here. So I'm about halfway through highlighting the black here and I thought I would just show you how I like to do these little um, ridges on the rubber undersuit. And it's not really anything special that I do, um, but the way that I do it is basically just to freehand each and every one. Okay, so we finished all the Skaven Blight Dinge highlighting there. So now we're going to move on to Dawnstone. So I've got my mix here. It's a little bit thin. And basically what we're trying to do here is get as close to the green edge as possible. Cool, and then we've got that line around the shoulder pad. So I'm just going to go around the rest of the shoulder pads and then we'll look at some other sections of the model to highlight with Dawnstay. Okay, so now that all the Dawnstone is done, we're going to add a few bits of weathering to this uh, pistol holster here. So as you can see, I've started a few already. I'm doing these in Rakarth flesh, um, just to give it a little bit of a warmer tone than the colors I have been using uh, and try to make it look less like the same material as the other black parts. So I thinned down my paint quite a lot here. You can see the consistency there. I'm just going to use the very tip in a quick little flicking motion. Just add in a few kind of random angles there. These are quite hard to undo if you make a mistake because that one was a bit too big, for example, because uh, we are painting right on top of our edge highlights. It's not impossible to fix, but it's not exactly easy. Hey guys, hope you're enjoying this tutorial. If you're new to Siege Studios, we are a premium miniature painting service with over 50 artists. Here at Siege, we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze premium gaming quality up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. Cool, that's looking good. So we'll move on to the next stage. So our next stage is going to be to highlight the gold. So I'm going to start with Liberator Gold all over for a kind of normal edge highlight. And then on the very edges and kind of dots, dot highlights, we're going to do a bit of Storm Host. This stuff is pretty powerful. It's like one of the most uh, bright and reflective paints uh, that 
Citadel do, I think. So when you put it on, you really do see it. So we've got to use that quite selectively. But yeah, we'll start with Liberator Gold here. Just gonna try it straight on, make sure I don't have too much loaded on my brush. So we've already uh, shaded the gold with Reichland. So now we're gonna do a bit of edge highlighting with Liberator. Cool, so we finished the Liberator Gold highlights there. You can see I've gone all around all of the edges on these and just got a nice solid coat of that on. And on the, uh, point, the um, winged skull and on these as well. So next up, we're going to do sort of dot highlight of Stormhost Silver. Shake, shake, shake. We want to do some really tiny controlled little dots at the sharpest points for the gold. Right. So to knock it back, we can get some Reichland flesh shade. only just visible is good in this case. So I'm sort of moving them all away from myself a bit so I can see how it's going to look at more of a normal viewing angle. So now we've done all the storm host silver on the gold. Uh, I've done a little bit of liberator there to fix some of the bits that were too bright uh, but otherwise we're looking good. So the next thing to do is the metal and uh, on the sword and on the gun and any other areas some on the backpack as well so to do that we're going to go back to our um, Vallejo model air gun metal so that was originally the base color for these parts but then we've washed um, non oil over them so they've gone darker so we can now use this as our first highlight and then we can do a sharper highlight of the old storm host there so here we go. The swords are pretty nice to edge highlight because they've got nice solid edges most of the time. And that's what I've done with other edges. I'm gonna try and make this one reasonably thick. Cause I don't want to recolor this section with this paint. I'm just trying to do an edge. Cool, so I'm gonna go around and do all those and we'll come back with the next highlight. Of course, we've gone around the model and done most of the silver highlighting, but what I'm gonna do is to go back and touch up with non oil anywhere that I've gone a bit wobbly needs to be a bit neater. So with the silver neatened up there and also finished on these parts of the helmet, we're going to move on to the final edge highlight on the silver parts, which is with Stormhost Silver. So here I'm just going to be a little bit more selective or careful, I suppose. Basically just not making that line as thick as the previous one of the armor part of the backpack. There's lots of nice edges here to guide the brush along. Get some really nice bright highlights on there. And on the gun here, you've got this edge where the 
magazine is. Some little edges all around. Cool, that's looking good. So we'll move on to the next stage. And that is the end of part two of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that and that you can join me again for part three, which will be coming soon.